Hello, Alex Hui here. In this video, I'll be showing you a Qigong exercise routine that can help you to boost your immune system. Now, this routine is simple, effective, short, easy to learn, and it requires minimum space. Now, before we begin, let's go to the bathroom if you need to, drink some warm water, and I'll see you in one minute. Before we begin, let's talk what is qi gong. Qi means energy and gong means to cultivate or to work. So qi gong means cultivating your energy and it is a type of exercise that can strengthen your body, enhancing your balance and boosting your immune system. So let's start. All right, the first exercise that we're gonna do is sinking the qi and cleansing your organs. So let me demonstrate the movement. Now you can follow along. Raise your arms, lower your arms. So when you raise your arms, breathe in. Lower your arms, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Now when you breathe in, imagine all the bad energy, any negative energy in your head. When you breathe out, sink it down. Cleanse your organs through your body, through your feet, out of your feet to the ground. So let's do it again. Breathe in. All the negative energy, press it down. Cleanse your organs through your feet and then push it out of your body. So breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now the second exercise is opening the sky. So what you're gonna do is relax, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, open your arms, breathe out, relax. Breathe in, open your arms, relax. Now these two movements, you have to do it in the right order because the first exercise, you get rid of the negative energy. And the second exercise, you breathe in so that the nice and clean energy goes in. So now we're gonna do four flapping exercises. Flapping exercise means you move your arms so that it hits a certain pressure point so that it can unblock your meridians and unblock your energy. The first one is unblocking the kidney. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn, you're gonna use the back of your fist and then hitting the back right here. So where exactly should you be hitting? Belly button all the way back and then a little bit left and right of that, of that point. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn and then hit that point. So let me show you from this angle. So you see that my foot is lifting up Now you can do 24 times and then 12 times each side. Now the second one is flapping the lung meridian. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your hand. Right here, you see this muscle right here? Between the red and the white, there is a point right here that is called yu zi in Chinese, which is pressure point of the lung meridian. So you're gonna hit this right here. So I'm gonna show a picture here and what you're gonna see, it's a pressure point, and make sure when you flap, don't flap your chest, but flap the pressure point, which is close to your shoulder right here. So let me demonstrate. When you breathe in right now, you should feel really relaxed and you should feel refreshed. So the third exercise that I'm gonna show you is called flapping the da zui. Da zui is a pressure point at the back of your neck. So when you touch right here, you'll see there's a big vertebrae. So it is right below that big vertebrae and it can help you to boost your immune system because that is a pressure point where all the yang meridians connect. So let me show you from the back. So when you turn, your right hand goes up, back, and then your left touch your uh, scapula. So turn, one. So when you turn right, right hand goes to the back of your neck, 
left behind the scapula. Turn left, left hand raises up, right, right here. All right, the last flapping exercise that I'm gonna show you is hitting the gallbladder meridian. So the gallbladder meridian starts in the head right here and goes all the way down at the side of your thighs. So what you're gonna do is do a big circle. Out. So once you draw a circle and once, you, once your hand goes out, you have to lift your heels up and then relax. And then when it relaxes, your hand just flaps on the side of your thighs. So let me show you again. Now, once, you, once your hand goes out, you breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. So now we're gonna do four twisting qigongs. So twisting qigong are practicing your joints and making sure all the energy is flowing through the joints. So the first one is twisting the wrist. So let me demonstrate. So as you see, my fingers are twisting towards the camera. So up, down, up, down. So the upper circle, I breathe in. The lower circle, I breathe out. So breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Now, Note that when I turn, I'm not just turning my wrist like this. What I'm doing is I'm using my core to turn and the core leads the shoulder, the shoulder leads the wrist. So here's how it looks like. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Now let's reverse. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Now the second exercise is the shoulder. So same up, upper circle, breathe in, lower circle, breathe out. So breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Note that same, I'm not just moving my arms, but what I'm doing is I'm using my core to turn and it leads the shoulder to turn. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, Breathe out. Now reverse. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now other side. Breathe in. Breathe out. Turn. Next, we're gonna twist the waist. So, twisting up, down, up, down. So, when you're up, breathe in. When you're down, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. When you're doing this exercise, make sure you do it according to your ability or flexibility. You don't have to go too low or too, too back. What you can do if, if you're not as flexible, this is definitely fine. So however, what I want you to do though, is your elbows are behind your head. So let's do it from this angle. So when I do this, elbows behind the head. If you do this, you'll feel a big, nice stretch at your back. So reverse. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. 
Next, we're gonna twist the hip. So put your hands on, on your hips like this, and then breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. So when you're doing this, make sure that you, your focus is on the hip joint and make sure the joints are kind of moving. So other side as well. Okay, two more exercises and that's it. So the last two exercises are the ending exercises. So what you're gonna do is put your hands and then you're gonna rub it and make sure you feel the heat. Now I feel it. And you can rub it for about 36 times. And then what you can do is you can calm your hair like this. There are many meridians on to the top of your head. So when you do this, it could unblock the meridian and make it the energy flow. So up from the top, you can all the way do it to the side. Now that's it for this simple Qigong exercise. So you should feel relaxed and refreshed right now. So this video right here is the instructional video and tomorrow I'm gonna post another version which is the whole routine without me talking so that you can follow along. Thanks for watching today. If you have any questions regarding the movements, post it in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video.